Fox represents all my island people say We people celebrating all it from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past 20 scholars uh, As you saw there, just a little bit of footage from continuing the prep on the floor back here behind me. Uh, this acid uh, stain required several steps of you know cleaning and etching and more cleaning, prepping, and then uh, you got to put the stain down. I've got three different colors to put down, and then I've got the sealer and the wax. So it's going to be a lengthy process. Uh, so just giving you another update there, and I'll put it all together at the end and have a complete video of all the way through. I'll put it up on the Turkey Poker channel. But just to give you guys a little, you know, heads up as I go along here. But five or so people that are watching this channel, I appreciate all the views. We got lots of great tips on the track song. Um, suggestions and things, and uh, the one suggestion I did not get was turning the blade back. But I've seen my uncle do that uh, on the school saw to cut through some some sheet metal. Uh, you know, when it's when the blade's going forward, it's obviously grabbing and cutting. Uh, going back, it's more you know on the concrete. It should just create a little bit of a, you know blank and blow when it around the trying to gouge and cut down into it. Uh, the one thing that was mentioned quite often was about the imperfections in the concrete and the, the changes in depth, and that is going to be an issue. Uh, and I need to test it out and see how it's going to work. So the track saw may not, you know, be an option after all. It may not really be the blade that's the issue, but more of the imperfections of the concrete and the, you know, waviness in it. And I didn't think about it too much before. I got to be working on the floor in detail and notice some details of the floor and just, you know, the, the way it flows. So, uh, you guys, most of you saw the bench uh, project and the Turbo Cobra channel. I previewed it here a little bit. Uh, I think the video turned out great. The bench turned out pretty good. Got a little carried away with it, you know, a little bit too much uh, on the. Uh, if you're going to glue two pieces of wood together, you really need to have the surfaces uh, square and, and perfect. Otherwise, you're not going to get a good glue look, you know. And so, you saw some of the rounded areas and trying to get that to glue. It's a lot of hand fitting. Even with all the hand fitting and the trimming and, you know, sanding and all that, it still didn't fit right. It wouldn't have to uh, But overall, I get, you know, it turned out to be a rustic looking bench, uh, you know, and, and that worked. Uh, you know, as far as the bench, there's, there's more footage of it. I'm linking some of it here as I'm talking. You can see, uh, you know, of, of some of the glue up stuff and the way I cut the, the box joints and the skill saw. Uh, just linking some of that footage together. Yeah, you know, I think the more I learned about videos, that the, the more footage you can get of the project and then use the very best footage. In other words, if you film all the work and then speed it all up and, or take time lapses and just jam it all in, you know, it, it's okay. But I think you can take, you know, several hours of footage and pick out three or four minutes of really the highlights of it and feature in on the actual work that you're doing and, and, and the finished product that it makes for a, you know, for a better video. I don't think people are looking to, you know, find out how to do something like this. I mean, you can get rough ideas, but people that want to make a video, they want to do it their own way. And they may be looking for ideas and not really a step-by-step -step showing every single detail. Uh, people are going to do something like that probably have their own ideas about how they want to do it anyway. And, and I actually copied some of the design from, from Jimmy Dresden's uh, big hand cut dovetail open that he did it for a while back. Uh, so anyway, there's the bench, got, got that finished up. Yeah, you haven't seen it, go check it out on the other channel. Uh, we've got rain again here, uh, which has just been crazy. You know, uh, I'll get, get the camera and show you outside. But I got the water line, uh, as you saw, we got water in here. Uh, the water line is up to the building, we've got a line on this end and that end. And we've got a few tap ends and boots here. Uh, so, uh, here I'll just uh, show you that. And you'll get a look at the mess we got out here too. Um, so you can see the floors drying. I got this little heater here. Uh, it's supposed to be good to heat 2,000 square feet. Uh, this area is about 600 square feet, but you know you got all this back here that's uh, you know that it's going to try to heat as well. So I don't know if that's going to help. I got the fan. I don't have it on right now because you can't hear when I'm trying to talk. But um, so you get an idea of uh, you know what we got going here. But we'll take a look outside just real quick. 
you can hear the rain running through the gutters, but it's just raining and raining and raining. Of course, everything flooded again. And you can see the water line there and there. Uh, supposedly they covered it up, but if he did, he did a really poor job of it. So I'm going to get him back out here to, you know, push all that dirt in there, you know, and then, uh, of course, when all this stuff gets, hopefully, uh, when we get, when we get done with all this, hopefully we will, uh, you know, if things dry out, we can get the, uh, we can get uh, somebody to come out and, and do a little bit of excavating and uh, bring some gravel in and make a real driveway and a, and a parking pad and all out there that uh, will stay, um, you know, will stay dry when it's uh, when it's cold like this. You can actually see my breath in here. Uh, it's not really that cold. It's probably about 50 degrees, but I think it's just the humidity and the moisture uh, combined standing here by this heater. But anyway, so just a little uh, shop update here uh, on the uh, Old Barn Homestead channel. And all right, thanks everybody. Talk to you soon.